So we anchored tight in here in Simpson Bay last night, but we just came out this morning just, you know, half a mile offshore to make water uh, before we go through the bridge and enter into the lagoon because I have a feeling the lagoon water is going to be pretty nasty. So we just want to get our tanks topped off just before we head in there. But now we're just about done making water. The bridge should be open for us to go in through soon. Um, it's actually open right now because all these race boats are coming out. So there's a regatta this weekend and just a ton of race boats everywhere. A lot of the same race boats, I'm sure, from the Caribbean 600 that we just saw in Antigua a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we're gonna head on in through the bridge now and go find our anchoring spot for the next couple weeks in the lagoon. Couple weeks? You said 10 days. Sierra and I took bets on how long it's gonna take me to rebuild the engine, and I said, from the moment I start taking the engine apart to its completion, I say one week. I say eight days. Sierra says eight days. If you I can't need, go over, so. If I need a part that's not readily available on the island, it's gonna screw me for that time frame. But I think, I think. Are you looking at those fancy boats? Hey, love, let's go forward. Just go forward, but keep it real light. Go a little faster, love. A little faster. All done. All done. Have a good day. That's the most intense bridge opening we've ever done. <laughs> Supposedly a couple times a year, like a big yacht hits that, hits the bridge. We got one more bridge, the causeway bridge right over here. And then once we go through that, we're either on the French side or just a little tiny ways on the French side. Right, right now we're on the Dutch side. That's like the fourth island we've been to where it's like they have like these dinghy tours and everyone just follows each other in these little dinghies. It's so funny. These are the first bridges we've been through since Florida. Seems good, right? Right in the middle of this town. We just anchored on the French side of the lagoon here. It's time to check in. It's Saturday, so I don't know who's gonna be open, but I think I think there's a check-in place at uh, Island Water World, one of the marine chandlery chains here in the Caribbean. So we're gonna go check in real quick. Super easy, as you guys saw in Martinique and Guadeloupe on the French side. It's just a couple things on the computer. Super, super easy to check in. So we're gonna go do that now and then get Jetty walking around on land a bit. So Jetty went to the bathroom on the boat this morning. Good, good job, Jets. It still takes her a while to go on the boat, but she eventually does. She goes right on the trampoline, which is awesome because it just goes right through when she pees. And uh, and then we just like rinse it off or whatever. Today it poured, so this morning. So, all good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and there's one more inside, and that's fifteen packages we got shipped here to St. Martin via Tropical Shipping. Total cost of shipping was two hundred and sixty-six dollars plus the cost of shipping to get it to Tropical in Miami. So not the cheapest, but definitely way, way cheaper than a lot of other options. 
this stuff would have been like a grand to ship here via like FedEx or something, Pro maybe more. Let's see what we got in these packages. I had to open one already. Lithium battery charger that we can run off our generator if we need to. And some of the things are Sierras and a lot of these things are Christmas presents for each other that we just hadn't got shipped yet. So, so I'm gonna try not to open up Sierra's packages that she got shipped here. But yeah, let's see what else we got in here. I also want to open them because I need these boxes to put like engine parts in as I'm taking apart this engine. So, first one's first. I think this is engine paint. High temp primer. Gasket maker. Then I ordered this Faraday cage bag. This is a bag that has some sort of like metal net built into the fabric so that we can put our electronic devices. That way if our boat ever gets hit by lightning, this is supposed to protect those electronic devices within. A lot of people will put them in the oven as well. We'd probably put put devices in here, then put them in the oven, and hopefully our devices wouldn't get fried if we ever got struck by lightning. Scotch right pads for cleaning the bottom of the boat and also for the surfaces on the engine that I need to put a gasket on. Plastic and metal scrapers to scrape the surfaces on the engine to prepare them for a gasket. Also some valve grinding compounds. Wire brushes to clean up the engine. Hey, those are big. New dinghy nav light. TDS meter to check the sediment level in our water. Some RAM mounts. These are the mounts that we use for our iPad navigation system. So we have like the iPads in a waterproof case and we have a cradle and then we use these RAM mounts. And we have these little ball mounts mounted all around the boat. So we can have one at the helm and we can put our iPad up there for navigation. Well, we also have one in here and above our bed so we could put the iPad up there very easily um, to watch a show or a movie or something like that. So, awesome system. We'll also use them for like some of our camera camera mounts and stuff like that. Vitamins, some sketch pads so that we can sketch out some future projects I want to create. I know what this is. New footwear. These minor, ah, uh, these are Sierras. Keen has hooked us up in the past with some sandals, awesome footwear, and they've been amazing for walking around the waterfalls and doing the hikes and stuff that we've been doing on these Caribbean islands. And, uh, and they just sent us a few more. The Solar line are like boat boat shoes that they came out with. So here's Sierras. Thank you, Keen, for sending us some awesome shoes. Oh, so we drowned our DJI Mavic drone a few months ago, and we got a replacement. Sweet! All right, back in business. We have another drone, our old drone, the, the Phantom, the big drone, which is amazing for flying off the boat underway, but this one's the best for taking with us on hikes and stuff, it's so small. Yes! We have the primer for the engine, and then this is the regular paint for the engine. One terabyte hard drive, we've been just buying a ton of these one terabyte hard drives because we've just been shooting so much footage and we've been trying to shoot a lot in 4K. We already have two more of these that I already opened. And uh, yeah, so just trying to save that footage so that we can reference it in, in future videos if we ever need to. Uh, stylus pen so Sierra can draw on the iPad. Some more camera mounts and stuff, camera cards, camera mount, and then a multimeter that I broke the one I had. I don't know how I broke it, but I did, so got another one. Sweet! Alright. Shush! I'm I'm filming the video. Yes. She hears the dinghy going by. So this is actually for Gutty, she just doesn't know yet. It's made for like kayaks, like a shade for kayaks. I'm gonna try it out in the dinghy because it really, compared to like dinghy shade, like canvas and the stainless steel and like patching it onto the dinghy, this is relatively cheap and simple and if it works, it'll be amazing. Pumped about that. Then this is probably the most exciting package. This is all our engine parts. Yanmar box after Yanmar box after Yanmar box. These might be the pistons, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. Piston with the rings on them already. Brand new. Springs, I got everything. The sleeves, everything. Oh, yeah. Jackpot. Keen shoes, keen shoes, keen shoes, keen shoes, keen shoes. All right, let's see what we got here. My matching solar flip flops. Sweet. Some new Kona flip flops. I had these for a while and abused them. I finally broke one, so I got some new ones. Webbing made from recycled water bottles. Solar flip flops. 
Alright. And Sierra's Kona flip flops. We're set for like a year on shoes now. This is freaking awesome. Thank you, Keen, for sending us all these shoes. And the last one, this is some. I think we got some secret stuff in here for each other for Christmas. I'll try not to open what Sierra had got for me. I'll show you what I got her. So we have a P.O. box in Florida, and that's one of the keys to getting our mail, or at least getting our mail saved when we're living and traveling on a boat. It's just like, a, it's not a, even a USPS, it's just like a private, you know, P.O. box mail, mail room place. And the guy who owns it is absolutely awesome. Like, we just get stuff shipped there all the time. It costs 15 bucks a month to hold that P.O. box, but he just holds our packages. It doesn't really matter how big they are. And he'll hold them for, for a long time. And then if we want them forwarded somewhere, we just call him up and, you know, give him the address, pay for shipping. And I'm sure he makes a little bit on the shipping, and then he makes money from us having the P.O. box there. But he'll ship it wherever we want, whether it's, like, up at my dad's house in New York or... If we're somewhere in the States, we can get it shipped to a marina. And then uh, for this situation, he had consolidated a bunch of stuff and then just shipped it to Tropical Shipping in Miami and then they shipped it to us. <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. So much stuff in here. New headlamp straps because living on a boat, our headlamp straps go bad. New headlamp straps. Oh yeah. So this is an autopilot that this guy had on his boat that he wasn't using anymore. Uh, Clark, thank you so much, Clark. This is the motor. This motor actually went bad on us in the past and we got a new one so that'll be a spare just in case it goes bad again the computer component of it oh it's so good this is great bunch of spare bands oh and this is the wheel that uh, attaches to our wheel that the band rides on thank you so much Car Clark really appreciate that oh this is all our mail I feel in here so like our paper mail new Hobie polarized sunglasses I think we got a few of these sent to us Awesome, those are the ones that Sierra likes. I think they're the right. Thank you, Hobie. This is something Sierra had gotten me for Christmas, so I won't open that. This is what I got Sierra for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Nice. So these are free diving fins, fiberglass. We have free dive fins, but they're plastic and they're super durable, but they're not super efficient. So I think these are gonna be a big step in free diving. I think she's really gonna like these. Oh yeah. I think this is a Christmas present from Karen and Andy. And that's our one of our shirts, if you guys haven't seen it already, our UV shirts. So this is our sticker pack, how it comes from the Tula shop. And we got some new stickers if you guys haven't seen them already. I think they came out really, really good. Nice, high quality stickers. You don't know Karen and Andy, but Karen and Andy do all our shipping for us and they are amazing. They're our really good friends. My old next door neighbors growing up and they're just so awesome. So they sent us a little Christmas card. Thank you, Karen and Andy, so much. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you, Karen and Andy. Say hi to Karen and Andy in the comments, you guys. Sierra ordered some of these. They're like silicone bags. We try not to use single-use plastic bags, especially like Ziploc bags and especially grocery bags. We don't use those ever. When we want to like save food and stuff, we use Tupperware containers, but it's kind of a pain because there's a lot of extra room inside Tupperware containers. So when we want to make a few efficient space in our fridge and freezer, they just take up a lot of room. Oh, uh, we got a Christmas card. Uh, Marcus Cheryl and Orion, aka Nono. That's great. Thank you guys. We have an old handheld VHF that came with the boat and the battery like corroded, these connections corroded. So it got it back up now. That's our backup backup VHF. This one is my Christmas present Sierra got me. All right. I'm not supposed to know that though, but I do. We're set on shoes and sunglasses for the next year. These are my sunglasses, yes. Oh my God, so nice. These are the Bajas. They might be the glass. Yeah, these are the glass lenses. Super clear glass lenses. How they look? Wow. Crystal clear. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you, Hobie. So Florida Free Divers is where I got those fins for Sierra, and they sent us a bunch of swag. So thank you, Florida Free Divers. Here's one of those GoPro poles that's clear, so you're not supposed to be able to see it. We'll see if it works or not. Well, that broke already. Not even a metal nut in here, it's a plastic nut. Cheap, cheap stuff. 
Well, so much for that. Some booties for Sierra for her fins. Nice thin booties just in case they're a little big. Some butt crimp connectors, the heat shrink ones that use all the time in the boat. Sierra's gonna be pumped about this one. Almond butter. Almond butter's been really either hard to get or super expensive down here in the Caribbean. St. Martin here, I think it might not be that bad. But anyway, we ordered a few things of almond butter. It's like never ending. Ooh, this one's for you know who in there. Yeah. She doesn't even smell it yet. Ooh, yeah. Remember the other, our old drone I was telling you about that has been working amazing for the past like three or four years? We finally got a new case for it and it's a backpack so that we can like carry it with us a little more. Just easier to store it as well. It's from Amazon. Sweet. Our other case is like rusting apart. Oh yeah. Look at that. Alright, I think we're almost to the bottom of this sucker. I'm like running out of room. Spark plugs for our generator. Another uh, USB, 12 volt USB thing, because the one up here is corroded. Fishing lures. Oh, I think these are present for me for Christmas. I'll have to like wrap them up. Thanks, Sierra. These are our lucky ones that are like probably not that much money, or at least in the past they haven't been. They've caught us so many fish. They're like flying fi rubber flying fish lures. More fishing lures. Thank you, my love. Another USB, two terabytes, this one. And, oh. I think this is Bo and Brandy's t-shirt, yup. Bo and Brandy t-shirts. Stormy seas shape strong sailors. Sailing, sorche, sorche. Bo and Brandy are actually here in St. Martin with us. So we gotta, I haven't seen them yet since they've been here, so gotta go say hi. That's it. Now, look at all this crap. Stuff everywhere. Do you want one of these? This is one of your Christmas presents. Ooh. You're not supposed to be on the couch, you know. All right, you gotta come off the couch, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Stop. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. I know a lot of you are excited for the engine rebuild, so stay tuned for next week's video because that is coming up. And we just want to let you know this episode is brought to you in part by Hobie Polarized. We love these sunglasses, we wear them all the time. I'm wearing the floating mohos right now and I also really like the bajas that you guys saw in the video. And I am wearing the rights, but I think my new very favorite pair is the Coastals, and they are floating as well. So that's really good to know because we live on a boat and stuff falls in the water. So Hobie Polarize is having a 25% off sale all the way until July 4th. Just click the link right in the description and use code 25SUMMER in the coupon. So click the link in the description. 25 summer if you guys are interested in getting some Hobie sunglasses. And thank you so much again for watching and we will see you soon.